Hey guys, I'm Angie Designs, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and welcome to Ottawa Comic Con 2023. Now this year was pretty busy for me, so I actually started off with a panel adventure right off the bat, so I figured I'd show you some highlights from that panel with my friends. Hello everybody, and welcome to Masquerades and Other Cosplay Contests. Woo! Woo! What they are and how they differ. And each level from novice to masters, are, they're looked very carefully based on the level you are as well. We don't expect perfect finishings on someone who's just starting out because even people in the master's division don't even achieve perfection because perfection is a myth. Perfection doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the other thing is very important on the very bottom there. Some people worry that, but I don't look like the character. I'm smaller, I'm bigger, my skin color is different. Those things are not judged, and you shouldn't have to change those things about yourself to conform to a character. We are there to judge your costume. And again, how did you adapt it to those changes? Mm -hmm. So nothing stops you of challenging your skills in the workmanship to see how far can you go and impress the judges or also impress yourself, which is also important is to impress yourself and not to impress others, is to see how far you can achieve your goals as well. Yeah. I cosplay 13-year-old anime girls. <laughs> I am definitely not 13. <laughs> this panel was really fun and I'm really glad to have done it with my friends like this. And thank you to everyone who came along. We're hoping to actually do something similar in the future as well. We went back to our hotel and had an early night in because of course we had a busy following day. Not sure if y'all can hear me, but hello. Finally checking in on the vlog. Uh, dressed as Ravio, we are backstage at the Masquerade room, Green Room. Got the friends, here they are. Drive with little dragon girlfriend. Little dragon girlfriend. So yeah, we are here. It is earlier in the morning, but we are here. The judges are all present, and we're gonna be starting to judge soon. As you can see, we judges were having a lot of fun with Go Beyond Cosplay's lovely little dragon girlfriend, as we are calling this light dragon. And we were also just having fun together as well. We knew we had a very busy day ahead of us, with judging from about 9 in the morning to about 5. Now, we had a pretty awesome crew of judges and also other staff for this masquerade, and I gotta say, I'm just super impressed. And I obviously can't show you what we were doing the majority of the day because we're not really allowed to show judging processes, but we actually had a lot of time and breaks in between because our staff were so on point this year. So we had plenty of time to just hang out and have fun and goof off and also rest a little bit here and there. So that is the footage that you're actually seeing here. I can assure you this is not what we were doing the whole time, but we had a moment to have fun, we definitely did. It's important to remember that cosplay is for fun, even for those running the behind the scenes and the show, and also the judges, of course, so we definitely held that up. And as you can see, we also decided to do matching costumes because that's also part of the fun of everything. Again, this was a very fun group of people to be around, and it made the judging experience really lovely. We even had time to pre-deliberate before the actual show as well to talk about just the workmanship before we saw the presentations, which is excellent. The show was so well run and so well organized, and congratulations to Al and the entire team for running such a good show. We judges also got to take part in some official photography by Creative Trend, which were the official photographers for the masquerade this year. And they did an absolutely lovely job, as usual. But it was really nice that we got to be included in this. And then a few meme photos were taken, of course, just in time for showtime. I'll introduce to you the MC of the show, Logan! <laughs> We cannot have a masquerade 
Und auf die Jagd. Noticing the distinct pattern with our judges here. <laughs> you know, it, it makes me think, uh, looking at that, it, it kind of makes me realize why Gannon hates the internet. There's just too many links. Look, <laughs> oh, I don't look at me like that. They're the ones who organize their LinkedIn. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. I promise I won't try force any more jokes. We judges went to our front row seat and our note paper and we're ready to take in the awesome show of contestants. Honestly, this was a great show and thank you to Le Bon Bar Chaotic for all this amazing footage that you're about to see. It was pretty late by the time we finished the show and got ready for deliberations and honestly this team was just incredible. Look at all these amazing people who ran this incredible show. It could not be done without every single one of these people here. So congratulations to the team for putting on this masquerade so well. We made it! Hello! Day two, day three. Day three. Here we go. Now, since we were backstage for almost 14 hours the day prior, we didn't actually get many chances to go out into the dealer's room, so the chances we got were just basically on Sunday.
It finally felt like a full con experience because we also got to go watch our friend's panel on cosplay safety, which is an A plus topic if I may do say so myself. Our Comic Con Masquerade Award! Woo! If you don't remember me from last night, then you were probably not at the show. We have two best in shows, one for workmanship and one for presentation. Nice! The first one for workmanship, the Rust Knight Entry 40. awards we judges did have to run over to the cosplay lounge because it was time for judging feedback which we hosted over at the cosplay lounge area. This was our last official duty as judges of the Ottawa Comic Con 2023 Masquerade. Thank 
Thank you so much. So, much. so Annie, you got some bread. Got you you there you go. And that was basically the end of my Ottawa Comic Con 2023 experience. On the Sunday, I was pretty tired, so I didn't get to do much of the con. I didn't get on the con floor very much, but that's okay because I really enjoyed my time with the masquerade. So thank you so much to Ottawa Comic Con and also the masquerade director, Little Al, for having me as one of the judges. I really love being involved in the masquerade no matter what it entails. And just thank you for having me and also thank you for Ottawa Comic Con for putting us up in the hotels overnight. It was really appreciated, especially with those really long working days. And also thank you to all of you for watching and I guess I will see you all next time.